play the chat. Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to something. Welcome back. Hmm, it's not really welcome back, is it? <laughs> welcome to something Been a, a little bit different. Uh, so you're probably used to us playing Commander on stream under Commander the Distancing, and this instead is the EDH. Boxing League. Now I'm here with two other players of the EDH Boxing League. My co-host Samalama Ding Dong. <laughs> How you doing, Sam? Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Yes, it's. Uh, I, I realise we haven't we we haven't filled our uh, void of of talking into a microphone for an hour this week. So um, this will do. Uh, I think we, we made the hour. choice. That's fucking generous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is, gener that is generous. I've got the uh, I've I've got the graph on how long they go, and they go. Ooh, there's Jeff's up there for three, and then there's down a little bit now. 13 was back up to like two and yeah, we can waffle, but uh, we've got lots of guests get lined up for the next few months, but one didn't pan out last few we uh, last week. So we said, no, you know what? We can have a break this week and do something else. Exactly. So fine. And yeah. thus the boxing league was, well, actually kind of already born and, and an idea that Sam had already had. So I'm not going to claim that it's mine. <laughs> and I can't claim it was mine either. We kind of adopted it from uh, Sheld Mannery and, and the whole EDH crew. And everyone's doing it in their own little circles, which is nice on, on Twitter. And we're like, we're going to do this thing. Yeah, too. exactly. So ours is a little bit different, but you'll run through that, I think. Uh, we'll run through it in a second, as as we'll we run through our sponsors for this content as well in a second. But first, I want yeah. to introduce one of our play players, the most amazing person in my life. It's Hayden. How you doing? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty good. <laughs> Hello. Welcome, Hayden. <laughs> Hayden. Hayden is not used to being on mic, so this will be an interesting uh, experiment, I guess, for you. Well, I mean, you talk enough for everyone. <laughs> so I made the exact true. joke today. I said, don't worry, don't stress, because uh, Chesh and I can just, I don't know, talk enough yeah. to sink a ship. So, um, yeah, but feel free to butt in at any time, and we will drop the airwaves and let you Stitch in. Stitch Flavors, thank you very much for the subscription! I, don't, I, I feel like I haven't done like a subscription call out for a while because usually when we stream from this channel, it's Caitlin being the, the main host on the internet. So huh. I'm just going to sound real stupid when I do it. Um, so we'll quickly break through our sponsors. So first up is Pat and Josh. Josh and Pat's MTG Bazaar on Facebook for all of your MTG auction needs. If you're Australian, New Zealander, or if you're from Malaysia, check them out for your awesome, awesome auction needs. Check out guff.com.au for all of your gaming needs and your sealed boxes and stuff because Jim and Guff are amazing. Uh, we're actually going to be having them on a mail time or Jim on a mail time on Monday on the other channel over at Chesh Breaks. Uh, talking about COVID, uh, how COVID's affected his particular business and what he's done to overcome those hurdles and those struggles. Uh, and also, and, and more importantly, how to run a good game store that it's it's all based on culture and what that means to our game and everything like that. So um, can attest that Guff are the, the, the best at that in, uh, or, or some of the best at that we've got in Melbourne, I think. so. Exactly. Um, and also their new location that's coming up, but I can't tell you all about that, I don't oh, think. I think they secret, posted secret. something about it, but I'm not sure if I can say much, but it looks really good. You may have already said too much. Yeah. And also check out all of the articles over on puremtgo.com uh, who graciously allow me to go and do freelance work for them writing about Commander and sometimes Standard. Although, to be honest, Standard's not been um, in a standard. place <laughs> where I am. I've wanted to I know, play. I thought it had been saved now. Well, you mean well, with the banning of, of I mean, Omnath. <laughs> Inspired by thirteen, I've been running an equipment deck, and then also like a rogue set. I always just, I always want to do what the Omnath or like the Ramp deck's not doing. So um, I think the the goalposts are wide open now. So uh, yeah, that's so all the weird brews come out. Oh well, getting rid of three fairy was definitely nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. That's sick ads. Hey, bucket boy. Oh, you can't hear us because of ads. Hey, Stitch. Um. Okay, so I think we pretty much went through the introductions. We talked a little bit about our awesome sponsors. Um, oh, you can hear now? Okay, great. So welcome, Bucket Boy. It's good to see you. You're all typoed. Don't worry about it, dude. I'm legally blind and I typo like a mofo. So Yeah. And exactly. our, our, I, that's that's why I like in. talking rather than typing because like, yeah, whose who's fingers actually fit on the keys properly and type the right buttons. And no one knows time. which there you've used. <laughs> what? Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I was like, oh, what? And then I clued in. I'm like, oh, I'm an idiot. There, there. there. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> so, so yeah, 
you want to run through some uh, some of our little guidelines we're kind of established today with our boxing league? Yes. So Sam has already ripped his box, so you're not unfortunately going to see Sam's box ripping tonight uh, and basic bone structure. So what we're going to do is the EDH mm -hmm. league is going for, I'm going to call it forever until we get sick of it. Pretty Sometime. much. Yeah, that's yeah. what Sometime. I thought. I, I, I had this weird dream that this might actually even turn into a uh, a, a, a full-on EDH deck one day. Like, yeah. And that's, that's the up. idea. Maybe like pre-con level. But mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. So what happens here is that uh, each participant chooses a box. Yeah, you can choose a box that somebody else has had as well. It doesn't matter as long as it's a booster box. Um, so no starter deck boxes. I'm sorry if you want to temper starter decks. What, what even is your problem? Anyway, uh, so each participant buys themselves a box, regardless of what it is. It could be a core set, a master set, could be anything. Um, for, look, uh, there's no reason to do a master set. It's too overpowered. Yeah, that's fine. And unless <laughs> you can restrain yourself, and and uh, we've got a friend. I'm doing a kind of sub league in parallel with this, and and we might actually get some of those guests on every now and then. Uh, whatever, Gabe, my mate Gabe, and my mate Alex. Um, but yeah, Gabe is a lovely person, and he would he actually did uh, open a master set, but is the type of person is not going to just run Brea straight up. It's uh, it's it's just like he. He was like, oh, I'll run Joy Weather Like Captain or something. Or like Tuck Tuck the Explorer. You need to do the double. <laughs> or, Kem or Kemba. Thanks, and it's like, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Hey, it's Gabe. I'm going to send you a link, Gabe. But nah, there you go. Yeah. And I get exactly. to rip on him in real time. Oh, exactly. Uh, oh, you should have seen what he opened today. So we'll get I like your today. style, dude. He opened dude. some old portal stuff. So you'll, yeah. Awesome stuff ensued. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Fergo Law. Um, yeah, so uh, basically each participant chooses a box. They then rip that box, and that box becomes, technically speaking, their commander pool. Uh, every fortnight they can add six boosters of any set, as long as it's not more than six of the same set, and I'll explain that part in a bit, uh, to yep. their pool so that they can then add to their deck. Now, the reason I say that is because you can do six random sets if you want, but you can't do more than six boosters from any set. So yeah. that means that if I get, uh, let's say, uh, Return to Ravnica next fortnight, and I buy six boosters, then that's it. My allotment is gone for Return to Ravnica. Uh, trying to get those Vandal Blasts, eh? Trying is to get those Vandal Blasts. <laughs> I, I, wrong, Cause, wrong, cause I think it was older Ravnica. An but, uh, He's literally yeah. building an artifact deck, and I joked about that. I was like, mm, <laughs> maybe I just uh, try and scalpel out those Vandal Blasts for you. Mm -hmm. Uh, now, there's not really... We haven't set up prizes or anything like that for these pods or like an because overall that's prize. that's not the spirit of ADH, exactly. Because that's... Right. Exactly. That's not... That shouldn't be the motivation. The motivation is to play weird cards and to have a lot of fun. Oh, my God, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And we love playing ADH and we have a lot of fun. Yeah, it's the whole point. And, and again, back to... Uh, yeah, shout out to Gabe. He's, he's the type of person that has like a Farmville deck and we're looking for in the portal cards like... Things like Zodiac Rooster and weird things like that. He wants to play vanilla creatures, and that's going to be funky. Like, <laughs> get a vanilla creature and then strap a uh, a batter skull to it. Like, exactly. Tell me that's not cool. That's that's frightening, actually. <laughs> Love it. And then make it unblockable with Rogue's Passage, and oh oh. Yeah. I should not be giving you ideas. Send him to the Shadow Realm. Yeah. <laughs> There um, are some good cards in RTR. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. So I've and it chosen. Might be a simple set because you'll get some lands too. So I've chosen the brand new. Zendikar Rising booster As box. As did I, spoil alert. Uh, so, um, this is I'll not the draft it. box. This is the actual... What do they call this one? This, they're called a set booster box. So th this That's is the it. way up here that most draft booster boxes, you've got 36 packs. The set booster box, you've got 30. However, often a bit of an increased chance at getting uh, more rares and also an access to the list slot. So you've got like the one in four packs that has <laughs> cards from quote unquote the list. And you can get some wacky stuff. Like, I've got a Pact of Negation, a Murderous Red Cap, a Slimefoot the Stowaway, an Inventor's Fair, all kinds of weird little things and just trinkets from Magic's history, which is just too much fun to, uh, to resist. So, <laughs> go do that. Um, Stitch, uh, just, just to point out that it is no silver border. Yeah, uh, yeah, I laughed that too. I was like, "Ooh, yeah. that, that's that's sorry, nice. no, ran an no, unstable box. no silver border." <laughs> now, if you are another content creator or the general public and you want to get on on this, uh, if you've got a camera set up like we do, like <laughs> everyone should, come back, um, Stitch, come back. <laughs> then uh, we can slot you into one of the Tuesday night times. 
um, which is always going to be at 8 p.m. AEST. Um, yeah. So these two boxes I purchased from Guff, um, they arrived this week, which is fantastic. One of the caveats that we have decided on is that the promo, if if you can still get your release promo with your box, it's absolutely viable to be used oh, yeah. as a commander. The reason yeah. we do this is because agree. yeah, the reason we do this is because every box should technically have a commander in inside the box that you can open. However. Oh, yeah. If it comes with a promo, it's still technically part of that product box, so we're going to allow it. Yeah, I, I was going to say I've even heard people have the house rule of like you really, if if the RNG gods absolutely frowned on you and nothing, like no legendary creatures somehow <laughs> went there. You know what? I don't think that would happen. But then again, I've seen a Khan's box with zero fetch lands. I'm yeah, not it joking. happens. It happens. Whoa, uh, that sucks. I know, but that could happen. So uh, I've even seen people unhinged. have the house rule. Like you could potentially have two prismatic pipers. Food chain. We would, yes. we would, we would make things happen. Oh yeah. So oh, totally in food chain on, <laughs> on the list. It's on the card. list. That's coming out. It's a three hundred yep. card list, but it's on the list. So um, is Ren and Six. So is Scroll Rack. So, exactly. Yeah, it would be fun. Hopefully, I it crack a Scroll Rack because that'd be great. Um, so the reason that I chose Zendikar Rising is because I'm a greedy fuck and the list yeah. is just amazing. So I absolutely wanted a card from the list. Um, the reason that Hayden, and you can speak for this one, the reason that you, you chose Ikoria was three color commanders, right? Well, I chose it because I haven't played it and it seems good because I'm a mediocre cup player and it's a strong set for legendary creatures. Mm -hmm. so. Absolutely. Very valid points. Hundred percent. And, and, yeah. and I found that I've actually uh, spoiled it too. I've opened my uh, like three packs for this week, essentially. So, well, I'm kind of a little bit ahead, but whatever. <laughs> oh, uh, the first thing I went to grab was Icoria packs to really bolster my uh, Zendikar set because I'm like, I need a three color command. I really bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's and why I opened I, a bad drop, which I'm really happy to. So, as, yeah. As I keep uh, saying, like, Icoria hopefully, gonna, I hopefully Icoria I crack it on that, but you know. Exactly. Oh, Alex did. So spoiler alert there, and it's <laughs> annoying. It is really annoying, and I felt like I had to uh, to compensate there. So, but yeah, Icoria will treat you well. I have no doubt in my mind. Yeah, it's, it's going to be great. All the great like mutate creatures. It's going to be heaps of fun. So um, and also just fixing. You got in evolving wilds like that. I want an evolving wilds <laughs> in my deck right now. Oh, uh, you'll get one, one soon enough. My... Exactly. My well, I'm going to order some cards. So that's that's another thing to look forward to, of course. But uh, my um my box topper was a blood same Maya, so I didn't get completely hosed on the Ooh. fetch land. So I was happy. It looks beautiful as well. Um, and I could play it my first week deck. So yeah. um yeah. Um, uh, so that is that, that's another thing. Expedition totally chuck it in the deck. So yeah, exactly. So if anyone was wondering, yes, absolutely, collector boosters are also allowed. Um, we have oh, yeah. We haven't discussed around base set versus collector booster though because i don't know if that's really cheating because <laughs> if i get zendikar rising uh set booster what do you mean? well because if i get a set booster right like a set booster yep. box like i have mm -hmm. but then i buy the collector boosters uh, to bolster my my commander deck that's not it's not exactly fair do you know what i mean counts towards the set they're the same you mean set. As in... That's what I'm saying. So, so it's you shouldn't be able to just send a car rising. Yeah. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. So, so you can't technically have twelve. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Oh no, totally. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Um. So, and I was gonna say, well, if it's the box you opened anyway, you probably wouldn't be able to add any more anyway, kind of thing. Maybe or maybe one one set of them. I guess that's that's all you've got. Well, I mean, yeah. I, I, you know I what? It's, it's I, I something. Just... I'm. Yeah, we're we're kind of setting the broad guidelines. At the end of the day, I'm not going to enforce them. That I mean, I am. I, 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 <laughs> I, I know, but I agree with them. But it's a building restrictions thing. create creativity. Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, <laughs> I, I opened a Cherix and I want to do mono blue, and I still might do it. Actually, it's um, it's gonna be fun. But it's, yeah, exactly. So I, I think it's more that we we're, we're trying to find the best way to make the best kind of fun games. And, Balance to some extent, but commander balances itself out in a great way anyway. So exactly. I'm just gonna say stitch, dun dun dun. We're opening Chesh's box. Uh, Chesh, yeah, I think you're gonna have a fun time with this. I, I do like this set. Boost. It's it's a great looking set. Um and uh I mean for the the couple of weird standard faults that have happened because of this set. <laughs> let's be yeah. honest. 
Um, I'm still okay with it. Lots of cowboy. <laughs> trying not to hit the microphone. Okay. Oh, Stitch, Stitch, what are they breaking on the NBA break? <laughs> uh, and also, uh, so, yeah, that's a great question. Do you do the uh, the expedition first or, uh, or last? Oh, last. Always last. Always last? Always I just did last. it first just to avoid disappointment. No. <laughs> Knowing my luck, it's going to be shit anyway. So I'm just going to put my camera Oh, yeah, over. there you go. Yeah, Bucket Boy said uh, first, but um, no, we're not gonna we're I mean, not gonna give in to that. <laughs> My lighting's Everyone not correct, the by the way, so I do apologize for this, for potatoiness. Um, should be fine. Should be fine. We love potatoes. All right, so set boosters are a little bit different. Let me just take the autofocus off, okay. uh, because the slots in a set booster are actually quite different to a draft booster. Um, Oh yeah, I still don't understand what the whole go is, but apparently they're like linked or something. Oh, I They've got a narrative. Yeah, something like that. Um, Doesn't matter. Sometimes you can get one uncommon, sometimes you can get six. That's that's all that matters as well. So. Pretty much. Uh, the one thing that I was told by by Jim from Guff was that these are a lot of fun to open. Um, art card doesn't have the gold signature on it, unfortunately, so... Oh, I didn't hit any of the gold signature <laughs> ones. Too. Oh, really? I don't know. But I don't know if they're worth anything. I don't know. It's, Who knows? Like we say, we had a big rant about it. I reckon we should get actual artist signatures. And I don't think that's too hard to do. If basketball can do it, so can, so can magic. All right. It's a verm. Yeah, I don't really care about going through that kind of stuff. This is what I want to get to is... Well, I think it's just like look for notable build arounds. And then I'm all not the... Gonna do uh, that. That's going to take too long. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm looking for the rares and the mythics. That's yeah, what I'm looking for. And, and that will dictate a lot of stuff. So we should also preface too, and uh, let me know your thoughts if you've thought about these today at all, Chesh uh, and Hayden. But singleton format being commander, you naturally can, you can of course make that happen first week. But would you say maybe you can run maybe duplicates or something you, off some cards? You uh, may run some card. duplicates if you need to, in my honest yeah. opinion. But generally, you shouldn't have to. What do you think? I'm not for it. There you go. Personally. I, I, I personally pivoted straight to Singleton as soon as I could because I found it more interesting. And it's it, it was the whole, you've got to play things that you might not think are going to be, work as well, but then actually sometimes do. And it's then they're the nice, easy slots to kind of upgrade. Whereas yeah. you might just see the same card. Like I've got three of the Vampire Nighthawk-y thing. Um, you know, the Tarmogoyf Nighthawk. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even know the name, but basically I've got three of them and it's like, I don't technically want to play three of them. I just want to play one. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. Only one says Stitch. Exactly. Pure EDH. But well, it, it, and that's exactly like... At the same time, it's like, I think for, for playables, this first one, I think will allow for sure. You can run some duplicates if you need to. If you somehow um, find yourself not being able to play an EDH deck out of a box. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's a good way to put it. doesn't really make sense. Well, you guys with your cheaty boxes... Six less, oh, six less packages. Oh, there yeah, you go. We're gonna lose Aiden, you, will see, you, you will see how the power, the true <laughs> glorious power of Ikoria, and and so, I've heard some people. Uh, Chase was saying, um, Chesh. Chase was like, it's probably almost too good. <laughs> I, I want to point out true. how many uncommons I just got in this pack, as an example. Did you get the five. So one, one two, two, three, four, three, five. five. Oh, you did the six. 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 Yeah. I see a list card at the back too. I'm excited. What's it going to be? There's a Master of Winds. It's a Sphinxy. Nice. There's a Merfolk. Oh, I got this thing too. Vanilla to, uh, plane ship creature or whatever. Yeah, it is. Yay. <laughs> yay. Five, five men of four, four. <laughs> and, and this was my problem when this was announced in the first place. 300 cards on the list I don't have a problem with, but 300 cards on the list with so many cards that are just trash. Yep. Yeah. No gold oh, that soul shatter art. That's good. Yeah, no, totally. Like the, you'll hit a couple of them. I hit some interesting ones, thankfully, which is really cool. So, um, like the craziest one being the probably just the force of negation. Which I was like, do I play it just for funnies? I guess maybe. I guess. You can make yourself lose the game. Ah, oh, yes. Slow those. Slow those opponents down. Archon of Maria. Yeah, whelming pack. Whelming pack. Yeah. So if you're wondering, 
uh, how many yeah, was... uh, the list, how hard it is to hit the list. They're one in every four boosters. So there should yes. be like, I think, seven approximately on average that come out of the box. Yeah, that's about right. And and, and they, they do say it's also, I don't know, there's rumours that they even follow a rarity scale there too. So you might not see as many rares of them and that kind of thing. Not surprising. Yeah, exactly. Of course they're going to do that. Got cables all over the place. Cables? Yeah, I pulled out one of my cables accidentally from my um my LED setup. Oh, by the way, are you going to jam as many MDFCs as you can? What's an MDFC? The, more, the, the, the double face card. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Ooh. They feel good. And I, like, I've got it. You just got to go, no, they, they do most of the time occupy it's a, a spell slot. It's and a then foil land for locks. And then they'll Drazi also, Temple. What? Well, there you go. Drazi Temple. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. It's modern playable. So, this is Zendikara. They're already Eldrazi. Yeah, exactly. No? That's oh. Like, that's like the, um, uh, that, the weird uh, Forsaken Monument or whatever it is. It's mm -hmm. just that the one relic to the Eldrazi oh, that aren't there anymore. Yeah. That's gorgeous. That is cool. That. We like these lands. They're nice. I love that spoils of adventure card. That's great. They just look like they're having oh, so much fun. Oh, you got the oh. you, got, you got the Noah Bradley oh. land that I've got three of. Oh, under you. <laughs> Hello, baby. The gate restoration is pretty cool. It's like it's not the greatest effect for seven mana or what. Or, Whatever it is, spell, Still, but it's well, a hand on the back. Great. Yeah. Nice. Wow, that was really pretty. So I've hit three of those borderless lands, and they've all been that exact Noel Bradley one, which makes me a bit upset. So <laughs> yeah. I want the other one where it's, it's the, per the the person skating on the the weird vines, just doing some THPS two on the uh, on the Zendikar vines. <laughs> So what I found with this, or oh, Ruin Crab hurts me. Yeah. Uh, I think Alex, one of our other games, Alex milled half our libraries or, or more. Which oh, is you one guarantee you're going to play it quite possibly. Ruin Crabs are amazing. I just love them. I'm going to play. Oh, you got the Murderous Red Crab too. <laughs> That's all so, right. Fun one here. I, ch I took my Murderous Red Crab in a Zagreus deck. Give it give it uh, Death Touch. Oh. Mm. Right. Bring it back. <laughs> Gabe says he hates the crab. <laughs> <laughs> he just hates getting crabs. No way. Uh, Stitch, you go command inside the set. So as we said before, you can use the, the box promo. We'll figure something out if Chesh miraculously doesn't hit that many legendaries. But my experience is, is that I hit seriously about seven legendaries anyway. So it's fine in, in, in two, two colors too. Well, I mean, you know, got lots and of of get when, when we get to Hayden's Ikoria, it will be awesome. Like, <laughs> you will like... at, at least see a three color one, and that'll be fine. They'll be everywhere. Yeah. Um. There's there's the Ooh. opportunity to hit Om Omnath in this one. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Nice hit. Uh, the Omnath just hits like I, I don't want to say easy mode, but it's just like the deck builds itself. It, it really is easy mode. No, it really is. And and. I think you're gonna to have to pry Cheshire's cold dead hands off the Omnath to play something else, but I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what what would be a myriad construct. That's pretty cool. Oh, I see a legendary Ooh, there Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, so Yashan was my week one deck, and it's actually a non-zero effect. It's actually pretty good. Sometimes people go, oh, I can't actually sacrifice non-line permanents now because um, or, or like to cast these spells or abilities. And like, ah, you've got me there. Your boar somehow has me checkmated. Yeah, it does. All right, let me just move this pile. Yeah, apparently that is the case, Osman 1309. That's what I've heard on the grapevine, that the Ikoria is pretty darn good. Just ripping through these boosters, trying through. to find all the love. I found as well... As I say, I'm speaking from we've played literally one week of this, so I'll be thinking up my game until basically so we're all in the same kind of pathway level, whatever, same amount of packs added. But I, I, I found very quickly all I wanted was those those commander staple 
effects of ramp and card draw. Oh, there you go. There's your ramp. Oh, that Tangle Veil. An MDFC. Oh. oh uh, there you go, too. Yeah. So I ended up with three of these guys for some reason. And um, yeah, fun time. Oh. Oh, what? <laughs> That's cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's a fun commander card. All right. Vampire Tribal. Okay. So Blood First okay. 3, Flying. Whenever you cast a vampire creature spell, it gains blood thirst three. <laughs> BRB going to Innistrad. <laughs> hey, baby, there's a list card that's a mythic that I'm uh, pretty happy with. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's cool. And Probably not worth a shitload, but you know. The whole point of all this, anyway, and I, I think, especially in these times, I'm very happy with as far as, yes, we've all bought boxes before. Yes, we've all cracked them and then just looked at them and go, oh, I didn't have what I wanted. We get to play these boxes, and and that's I think the way I want to treat every box from here on out. That it's it's just the way to go. You yeah. you you kind of get use out of all the cards. Glass for me. This is fantastic. Just nice. Good. <laughs> oh, Aberrant. Dude, and a black commander. Yeah, <laughs> what a black. That was his, that would be sweet. Uh, awesome at least it's 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 a cleric demon. I, I wish it was a vampire. Yeah. Because <laughs> that would be really cool. Just saying. Yeah, you have to open Drana, that would be pretty sweet. Oh god, yeah. Oh, this pack's given me grief. Yeah, Zagreus is a good option, actually. You know, I, I did Zagreus. For, I had two decks week one, which is Zagreus and um, Yashan, the, the boar. And um, they're both different, but it's just where my, my kind of best cards lied, so... Oh, then we got another the list card. Oh. So see this thing? That's your ramp spell. You need to cling on to those tightly. They're very good. <laughs> They're very important. Especially in Zendikar. Yes, exactly. Sorry, in Zendikar. Oh, look at Hey, doubles. Hey, some other Zendikar. Oh, you hey, got doubles two of the moss pit skeleton. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Womp, womp, womp. That's yeah. A, it's a good card. This is a good card. Womp, womp, womp. And... Oh, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, Royal Raption is good. Oh, it's a loose card. Ooh. What is it? Slimefoot. <laughs> I can play Slimefoot. Yeah, so I, ha I have the same thing, and then I realize I've got to make Staperling synergy. <laughs> right. That's okay. okay. Move to Dominaria. Ramp, yeah. oh, Just fine. make your next six exactly. boosters Dominaria, and you'll be fine. Yeah, exactly. And that's the fun part. Maybe you can actually start to strategize and go, well, we I want to pivot this way now. So. Oh, that taunting Arbor Mage thing that, that basically just casts a... Uh, ooh, you got Kazar. Nice. Um, that ca casts a uh, lure on a creature, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. uh, led to... I got an Ashire. I got a foil Ashire in my deck, and Ashire gets out of hand, like more so than I kind of realized. Oh, really? Just because all your creatures are forests after that too, if you can imagine how that works. Uh, and then Ashire becomes as big as all your lands, so all your creatures are lands too. Uh, Gabe had a cyclonic rift that then did nothing. Like, yeah, that's what we're talking about. Um, but using the lure creature, I was able to go, well, you have to block this dumb creature, this, this little two one. Uh, and then a Shire and something else went in for something like 50 damage. I was like, yeah. So it may seem like powered down commander first week, that kind of thing, but there's still some, some wild things that can, of course, happen. Mm. Needs more alpha, yeah, exactly. So, Stitch, <laughs> you should have seen. So, so Gabe in chat, um, we'll have to post the things, whatever. You'll see his deck in the next few weeks. But he opened Portal. Uh, what was it? Fallen Empires today, Chesh. He uh -huh. opened Fallen Empires. Visions. That was a spicy time. Visions and uh, what was the third? Uh, Chronicles, Chronicles, which was good fun. But the Portal Ooh, had yeah. he had the blue he had the blue shooter, the uncommon one, worth like fifty bucks. One, God. two. Uh, Three, it gets sprouts. Four, five, Ooh. six uncommons. Seven, seven, eight, eight. <laughs> oh, oh Valkyrie exploration, nice. The word chest. That is a good card. That's eight your, that's your card event. Jeez, just give me eight rares. Like, <laughs> I know it's like you can only get like maximum two, I think, or possibly three. Oh, 
three or four, but it's it's probably unlikely. And then depending on your list card. And you're right, I haven't had a single uh, gold one of these. They must only be in collector boosters, I reckon. Uh, no, I think they are there. And I, I've, I've seen, I think Alex had one, but like, I don't know. That's a lot of I don't of know black. if they're worth anything. Hmm? That oh, was a that's lot of squid. Hmm. I love that art so much, but it's just on a doofy little defender. <laughs> I, I know who that's going to. So they're my there squid token. They're my squid tokens now. That that has to go to Hayden straight up um, yep. for Hayden's squid deck. Yeah, I'm keeping a stack of them. Oh, we'll just make that's our mythic. Oh, there you go. Called the Drana. Drana. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Auto black. Intensifies. <laughs> Utility knife. Who has on open boosters more than 20 years old? Well, yeah, I would have thought the same thing. So we found, uh, and this is a whole impetus for the rules of uh, allowing just random assortments of boosters, because I kind of love that. Um, Basically, we found a, a really good eBay store that has pretty much everything you can get your hands on, but at a fairly reasonable price in Australia. And it, it got delivered in less than a week too, which I was very surprised with because uh, Chesh and I have had some fun battles with mail lately. Yes, and, um, Oh, there's your removal, dude. Yep. That's really good. And a warrior token. Yeah, Vampire Tribal now sounds pretty good. <laughs> Stitch, oh, what, what, hold on. Stitch, Stitch, what unopened boosters do you have that are 20 years old? I want to hear that. What have you been holding? Uh, it's gorgeous. Yeah, that one's cool. Love it. Love a bit of a bowl of, uh, bowl of water. The cup. And what are you, are you, are you, are you just holding investments there, Stitch? Probably. A little double face card. That's yeah. it. Yeah, is that what it stands for? Yeah. Oh, that angel thing. The soul shad is really good. So this one's your your business. Mm. And then, ooh, is this thing that cares about party? Probably. Uh. Anything that no, cares about party. Have to kick spell, draw a card, and then discard a card. Uh, when it's yeah. battlefield, look at the top five cards of your library. You can reveal a card with a kicker ability from among them. Put it into your hand and put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. It's a kicker card. Oh, it's a kicker card. Interesting. Interesting. Oh yeah, that that Australia Post uh, Senate Committee thing today is gonna yeah, that's gonna go nuts. Australia Post Senate there's so Committee. Many, there's so many outrages today. They're like, oh, I can't get can't get shipping on time yet. There's a three thousand dollar a day like I want to point consultant out. for PR. Yeah. What's that? I think that's gonna oh, be a list card. That is absolutely a list card. Yeah. Because when I was opening, I was doing the wrong way, and it yeah, you can yeah, see if I it's actually noticed. a card back. So it's, we're getting listy. There's a vampire cleric. Yeah, that's both of your Two, things. Both of your tribes. Three, four, five. Oh, this. Fling, fling on a land. This is one of my favorite mobile oh, love yeah, cards. Oh, yeah, it's so good. Like, it's, hey. Fling hey. Be dead card. Oh, nice. Nice pathway. Is that person riding a stingray? Uh, I don't know what. I don't know what is riding. I need to look that up. Whoa, but unbearable hey, rides. Rides. Hey. hey, could you do an Oz of deck? This is kind of funky. I don't know. I'm I'm starting to think like reanimating vampires sounds like a good idea. Mill myself, you know, with a crab. Find some way to play Demir. You're gonna have to find a much okay. better commander. I know. <laughs> You need, or oh, that's where you you pivot to Ikoria and you go get Nathroy. And you have a good time. <laughs> Nathroy rocks. It's too good. Oh, and you get that interaction with um, Scourge of Skyclaves, the mythic, which mm -hmm. I opened in this one. Did you see how that interacts with Nathroy? No. The whole minus, minus 20 thing. Oh, boy. It means you can get 20, uh, 20 power out of your graveyard. This, this is going to be All right, an interesting... Turbo pack. An interesting pack, right? All right, no list, but you've got a few things. Inscription. Oh, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, there we got front running for your command. Mm -hmm. That's but wait for good. it. Wait for it. Oh, cat beast. And a token. Yeah, the fire life is the hotness. I think fire life's just going to be a genuinely amazing deck too. I guess we'll see. <laughs> just run all the ramp you can possibly find and just have a good time. Well, that's why I decided on the landfall uh, set. Oh, second foil good. land. Oh, yeah. You can run all your foil forests. 
Can you beat wholesale ass? One, two, it's three. Ooh, Ooh. It's pathway. Nice. Is it, it land? land? It is in land. Uh, the shade is just like a thing that comes back, basically. And subtle strike. Subtle strike. Oh, nice. I was like, oh, what is it going to be? Is it going to be really good? And like, nah. I actually wouldn't mind one of the dual lands in foil just to see. Because it's got to be foil on both true. sides. Mm. <laughs> Chuck it boosters off to the side. All right. Chuck it on the floor. I just like the fact that we've been able to play like how many uncommons are in this pack? One. Yeah, exactly. Two. Three. What the? I've never seen that one in the yeah, it's funky really, art. It's really lovely. That's nice. I mean, centipedes are just absolutely oh, terrifying. Wow. Hey. Oh, Angel, okay. of Angel of Destiny. Angel of Destiny. Okay. Mm, mm. This is putting in the ca <laughs> this is putting on the case. I'm not joking. This is putting the case for clerics um, mm -hmm. and resolve. And I just saw what your rare is next. Even though it doesn't matter because you've got the box topper. But, <laughs> Yeah, great. Thanks. Nice. Um, still, oh, 10 <laughs> years though, Stitch. That's still a bit. That, that's still RTR? Yeah, probably. Yeah, Esper deck, if you can make it happen, you'd have to get an Esper commander though. So that's where you drive the bus back to Chronicles like me and Gabe. And uh, you go get a Chromium. What do you reckon, Chesh? Uh, yeah. Actually, yeah. Hayden, Hayden brought up Chronicles earlier today when we were talking about it. Chronicles is rad. And it's like, it's got all those cool cards that are expensive in other sets, of course, but they're just that, that. They were. It's funny. Chronicles is actually the Chronicles of NBA right now, Chesh. Yeah, it really is. Like, it's like Chronicles Ooh. back then for Magic was exactly what's going on there. We're going to do it again. What's going on here? Next one. one. Yeah, okay. Two. More cleric payoff. Cleric. Three. Hmm. Ah, uh, we stopped at three, four. Nice. Oh, there we go. Mammoth. That's just like a well-costed green card. It'll probably be responsible for about 10 damage. Um, Chesh, I've got a hot take for you then. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go for, um, try out some core 2020. There's some really good, uh, interesting three color commanders in there. Uh, like a Yarok, like a Kalia, not the great one, but the, the cleric one. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's three color commanders there that could actually work. Mm. Yeah, that's fair. But you kind of you're trying it six packs to hit a mythic, and it's one of those. I don't know. It's it's risky. It's risky. Well, even nineteen had the dragons. Yeah, I was gonna say nineteen as well. Actually, like I I think I made a commander deck out of most of those. I love them to bits. Like the chromium, um, also the the Vivictus. Okay, what's going on here? Put two counters on the thing. The creature land. Okay. You can just do it. Oh, yeah, oh but that wait one. For it. Interesting. Interesting. What's this? Oh, that's cool. That but shiny wait for it. Oh, what is it? Uh, oh, uh, that's a light up. Place that on the list. Mm. Come on, guys. Come on. I mean, good. But... Yeah, true. Actually, you're right. I'll, I'll tell you this too. Right, you would have to, or you would just have to crack. Um, uh, what do you call it? Double masters for old Kalia. Which you could get uh, Sharoom as well. That's a fun one. Hegemon. Uh but there's just a whole lot of artifact stuff. Cool Bailoff. That cleric's amazing, by the way, when you gain life. Mm -hmm. Just ping everyone for one. Inscription's a good one. These have been pretty good. Like you just sink some mana into them, they do a whole bunch of cool stuff. Yeah, so far I've had some like okay luck. Yeah. Yeah, Stitch Taki is my next destination. Absolutely. Hey. It's just like we did it, boys. Oh, nice. That's a cool signature, too. I'm sure it's worth that, nothing. Oh, exactly. That feels like a 1994 NBA card. Hey, hey Wizards, a, a you see this? You know this? That should be on a magic card, not on an art card. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Third foil full art land. Well, you can play. Delivering. <laughs> Mushroom, that's right. the best name for Sharoom. One, <laughs> two, three, four. Spoils. Shelter. That's a good card. I like that one. Four. All right. Yeah, Look it's your that. removal. Mm, again. Redders, nothing else. All right, so we only need a couple of boosters to go, and then we can crack into the uh, 
the expedition booster. Pack your bags. We're going on an expedition. We're going on a journey. Yeah, I was going to say guilt trip, and that doesn't work. So based on these cards, Chesh, what do you reckon your uh, your first little expedition away from Zendikar is going to be? What what journey are you going to go on? Uh, to be honest, think, I, won't, random... I, I won't know until I look at the commanders, to be honest. Ah, uh, fair enough. Hey! 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 Okay, that's, green's looking... That's, green's that's looking, looking all right. Oh! oh. <laughs> and, ooh, another <laughs> drama. Yeah. Oh, sure. Okay. Sure, Why I'll not? take it. Double drama. I am, I've got to be honest with you, I'm a bit underwhelmed by the, uh, That's by the, far, the, the yes. double rare Whatever. slash possible double mythic. A misty thing. rainforest and all will be forgiven. Oh, but you can't get them out of the versus, you can only get them out of that one. And that one yeah, has 30 on its list, so. Yeah. But 10 of them are things. Oh, feed the swarm, dude. Yeah, that's pretty good. Good removal. One, um, it's two, a, it's enchantment no. removal in black. Modular pathway. Spicy. Now that no listies. Getting, getting right, how many packs we got left? <clears throat> some Julian. Got some modal Julian. Quite a few modal. We got lands. We've got uh, three packs, including this oh. one, I believe. Fair enough. You got lands up the wazoo. Fourth foil full art land. Hmm. Flat. Flat. A flatted. Flat. One, two. <laughs> Three, four, yes, five. Ah, Hedron. Ah, another night hawk scavenger. Oh, scoot swarm. Scoot. Oh, okay, okay. Everyone's in trouble. You need to be. <laughs> you need to be in green now. Oh, and uh, we got a foil double sided. That's pretty oh. cool. Mad respect for that. Uh, yeah, two boosters. Yeah, co collectors boosters do have fetches too, and I've seen I've seen multiple packs of two expeditions in a collectors booster. Yeah, so, um, and I will actually try and pick up a collectors box, depending on when oh, we find out about hoops premium, um, just for the channel. But I, I don't know because they're expensive. I've got to try and figure out a good way to uh, get that cost down. Hashtag Jim <laughs> Island. Bite. All right, so here we go for uncommons again. One, two, Saucy. three, four, five, five. Yep. Tell it uh And uh, another mythic. Oh, scourge! This That's is a fun cool. one. I played this the other day, and it was um, it was it was pretty fun. Oh, it's yeah, like black white. Half the shit, life ran it up. Hmm? It fits yeah, in your black white. Great. So I think, yeah, you can make a, you pretty reasonably make a black, ooh, it's something. I had inventors there. I was like, ooh, it's a land, it's a land, what's on the land? Oh, no. My sweet artifact deck. Yeah, mate, I'll go to Ezra Vault next year. Sick. All right, last booster pack. Oops. Oops. Planes. It's a it's a threaten effect. Yay! It's a relic rubber. Oh, this thing's hilarious. When this thing hits and you get a little token, you're like, oh, I feel yeah. I don't know how I feel. I feel I feel bad. <laughs> Violated. All right. So before we get into this, if we uh, just quickly pull out. Oil lands first. Got a decent selection here of uh, legendary creatures. Um, yeah, that's what I was saying, Bucket, Bucket Boy. The, the Scourge goes very well with the Nathroi. You can mm -hmm. get like, you can get silly things back. So, Byleth is looking cool. Byleth I think is you really looking like the choice here, I think. I reckon that's you, you do a fire life and then you do a cleric deck and you build them both out and then you kind of just pivot as far as well you can keep adding to them you know yeah uh and a secondary i, I, just, I saw a lot of strength in black for sure hmm. oh, slime foot we forgot about slime foot yeah i'm not doing slime foot 
Yeah, no, you need sapling synergies. I mean, look. And... <laughs> All three of them are, are, well, two of them are really cool. <laughs> I yeah. think we're going to have to go with Phyleth just because of that amazing, yeah. amazing art. It looks so good. And then, like I say, just jam all your black and white stuff into a, a, the other deck, and it's kind of there if you need to. Um, if if the openings then start to favor black white, exactly. Because remember, good. remember yeah. that myth, the, the vampire mythic too from the. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, here we go. Time to get hashtag hosed. Hosed. If oh, can never open it. What's it gonna be? It's a fetchy. Yay, what do you think? Right. To be fair, it's the perfect it's, fetchy. Guess which one exactly. it is. It's the <laughs> perfect fetch. I'd be happy with that. Exactly. So Phyleth has spoken. Phyleth has well, spoken? It, I have, yeah, Stitch, I feel exactly the same way. It's, like, it's funny with these. You're just like, oh, please don't be host. Please don't give me a, uh, a, a what is it, the, the, the tar pit or whatever. It's like, oh, no, <laughs> just, a, just a fetch. Any fetch will do. It's fine, and you feel like you've you've got you got through safely. All right. So I think uh, if I have a look at maybe probably not. Um, That's a nice Christmas land. Kondu. Yeah, you're green red. Mm. And you play things like that fling yeah, as well. That's... Um, actually, stitch fair fair. Maybe. I really wanted to play that blue white land though, because that was pretty. Yeah, that's an exploration. There'll be a time you you might get to Esper. All right, I think. Well, you play the construct. Yeah, I was thinking like you've oh, just totally, got to go totally. with it. It's kind of just like a um, uh, like a hanger back you walker type thing. <laughs> Should I play the shitty giant? I think you do. <laughs> I think you know you do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Just for the memes. Just, Just for so the you can meme. Fling it at... oh, so you can fling boy. it at someone's face. Um, so, obviously, what we're going to be doing here is landfall for sure. Um, I'm not so sure on the light up the stage, uh, but again, it's kind of semi like card draw. Also, so... I. I reckon just play it. Yeah, yeah. Well, you would I think play we'll need it some card draw. until and you I find something what, better. With someone exactly. like Phyleth, yeah, I think with um with your Phyleth and like Lotus Cobra, um, you then collect the things like the instant speed Harrow kite like effect. Yeah. To the whole thing with Phyleth, if you can just attack in with plants and then surprise uh, landfall exactly. at instant speed, that's that's some powerful stuff. Scoot Swarm is insane. Yeah. <laughs> we have. We have to do Amori it. Nomad. Yeah, it's exactly. just it's, it's just like the trash, weirdest flex. So good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If only it came as foil. Yeah, but you can still be like time shifted, yeah. whatever. Uh, so Beery's construct obviously we'll put in here as well, just because you know yeah, you'll have the mana to kick it. Uh, exploration. This is a great card. It's a fantastic card. Yeah, it's just good. It's just like you either get the card to play or, or it starts bolting being... everyone. Exactly. And with multiple landfall triggers? Yeah. Uh, I think I we're going to play the inscription. I saw this thing do work. Yeah. Um, like gain, gaining 17 life off the thing and mm -hmm. uh, counters and yeah, fighting as well. It's good stuff. Uh, and of course, you've got to play the mammoth because not only is it landfall, it's also land. It's a snuffleupagus. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, you that's, uh, you that's the bones of my deck. So, Literally Christmas land. Yeah, pretty much. Nice. I'm going to swap over uh, with Hayden for a second. And then Hayden can rip their box open. Now, I've got to try and do this without killing my headphone. Because... Are we attached? Is. Yep, I am attached. How we're also excited, excited for things like the triomes. They were fun to open. Oh, yes. Triome. Blast. Triomes. 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 They're maze. That's a pen. A 
don't know why you didn't just use the scalpel. I did. Oh. I would have just sliced down the side. It's not my fault you've got a shaky desk. Don't look at me. Okay, let's have a look. Icoria, Icoria. So I've got a set. I forgot that you get a box topper. Because the one I got sent me was Godzilla. <laughs> so oh, for, yeah. my, for my X1 deck is coming along. Godzilla. Yeah, hopefully. Oh, yeah, and you, you can totally get something cool. And you got King Caesar or whatever mm -hmm. it was. That's right. And I got Violante, which is the opposite end of the spectrum. I f yeah, I forgot there was totally a box topper in this one. That's good fun. Okay, okay. Ikoria also has like such silly cards as Kin and Bond a Prodigy, which is just green blue stuff. Well, there you go then. <laughs> it's Roy. Oh, it's a Snapdex. <laughs> yeah, okay. Build my, in fact. My favorite now. commander. <laughs> Build in fact. Stop. It's Peepriz. What up, man? All right. So. Snapdax is already looking like a good option. Oh, and a Mythos. Ooh, okay, yes, guy. Mm. Shiny one as well. Kind of fun. <gasps> Crystalline Giant's a cool one. That's it's absolutely playable. It's absolutely oh, yeah. playable. <laughs> and you can Snapdax onto it. Ooh, yeah. Oh, no. No, don't tell them that. Uh, yeah, these looking like it's too, all coming like together. The, mm. oh, to uh, Icoria just comes together. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, these are backwards. They're, yeah, exactly. I miss this set. I, I wish I could have got to draft it, but um, uh, I do a little bit on Arena, but I don't know. Drafting's about people. Well, it means we don't. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, go for it. Go for it. Oh. Tokens? Tokens? Oh, another mythos. Cool. <laughs> cool. That one's great, actually, by the way. Um, you can make a copy of basically anything. Got any Space Godzilla Death Coronas? Yeah, I wonder if they're going to just be the, you know, a, a few years' time when we uh -uh. hopefully can... I was going to say laugh at all this, but I don't think we ever will. Um, but when people go, oh, remember that time? And No, uh, that somebody card. was like, oh, they're so rare. And it's like, no, you don't know. Oh! Oh, hello. That is hotness. spicy like hotness. That. So yeah. gorgeous. I forgot oh, about those. It, if you're gonna open a Vadrock, would be would the Vadrock sway you from um from the the power of the Snapdax? I mean, I'm willing to be swayed anywhere at this mm. stage. <laughs> Vadrock has blue, and blue draws cards. Chesh, it's pretty good. It is. It I know is. Chesh, Chesh is like, nah, play Snapdax. No, dude. Do you not remember that? Like, I smashed the um. What I'm uh, referencing, I know. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, Jeez, I forgot how good <laughs> this set is. I know. Such I'm, I'm having set envy just a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna see. Just play that. That's a great card. <laughs> make make krakens. Huh. It make krakens, not war. <laughs> and just cycle cards. Hayden's favorite thing is making krakens. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah good old sea kraken deck. Look, I like better. a nice sea monsters. I like a nice meme deck as opposed to one <laughs> that actually works. Yeah, as I pull out Charix the Crab. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I can't open these at all. No, they're hard boosters. Yeah, I don't think many of us got to play uh, uh, um, a Korea except for online no. Stitch. Which... Oh, there you go. Oh, another Triumph. Okay, this is your team of one. It's not as pretty though. Nowhere near as pretty, but Bastion's really still good. good. I'm not complaining. Yeah, well. Yeah, Hayden didn't get to play uh, Ico either, so. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Oh well, no! I, I suggest you find a way to play blue green. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it is All my right. favorite color combo, That's so you know. Pretty much yeah. the hit of the box. <laughs>
Uh, I don't like so, so many pretties. Mm -hmm. All this stuff too, just your um, uh, constellation stuff, cards and. I can't believe you hit a Kinnon, that's very cool. Yeah, Kinnon. Stop having box envy. Like, I'm so having <laughs> box envy. I'm just like, you were cracking all these like great cards, and I looked at mine and I was like, yeah, this is fine, but it's, you know. Enclave. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. This is just it's, thing. You it's could probably make it fine. Somewhere. You put it in. Exactly. Uh, yep. Nice, nice. What's it has Soul Ring? Wow. Nothing. Uh, yeah, nothing. Oh, while we're opening, I should run a quick advert. So oh. this Saturday night, please join me on twitch.tv forward slash reliquary tower. That is uh, 6 a.m. UK time, uh, 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, and 9 p.m. New Zealand time for a very special stream with Riley Knight. Uh, Tom, the Wandering Bard, and of course, Orcshead Jordan, Orcshead Magic, and myself, as we play with the hashtag sponsored Zendikar Rising Commander decks versus the Ikoria decks in a, a, a four for all brawl. Oh, Ooh, look at that boy. Zendikar decks are really good. <laughs> oh, yeah, they are. <laughs> and, and they lowered the price, and I think of all the stuff going on in the Magic world right now, they didn't get the uh, attention they kind of deserved. It's like, Hey, here's a good, really good, solid, like, commander product you can get for $30. Mm -hmm. like, it's fantastic. <laughs> you just chuck the rare in the other pile. Just like, eh. That's the it's, it's a cool it's, card. I mean, I don't think I'm building Flash no. Tribal. No. <laughs> yeah, critical man. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll go and talk about this week on the Commander Crunch podcast, but we'll probably do it in the, the following weeks. But um, Chesh had an amazing game on MTG Lexicon where he just slightly tweaked up the uh, the landfall mm -hmm. Naya deck from, um, from, from the, the yeah. pre-con. And yeah, as I like to say, he beat wholesale ass with it. It was really good. So um, <laughs> yeah. Funny that the Wizards deck. would produce like the two decks from Zendikar, one of them being Landfall and the other one being Mill. Uh, and the Landfall yeah. deck with a slight upgrade is just so good. Landfall it's... is just so good. Yeah, exactly. It's like being able to get something wrong. for just doing what you have to do. To be honest, it's like, oh, no, I've got to play lands. I don't really have to go out of my way to do that. <laughs> what a shame I'm ramping at the same time. And it's like, <laughs> well, my foily mountain. Pretty good. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, it is. It has come. <laughs> you, you, I think you need to pivot to blue black now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord Rackus is cool. That's okay. very cool. Um, the thing I always forget with mutate too. So keep in mind, any other mutate card will just completely just tick off whatever that effect is <laughs> on top of one of your cool. Assuming one of your cool three color uh, mutate commanders, if there are more than one. It's a companion. Well, those companion cards are wrong now, aren't they? Another oh, one. Another foily. All right, so you to go with your snappy. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> I do like these three color enchantments. I think they're really interesting. But uh, uh, that one, that one, you need the whole deck for it and all that junk. But anyway, that's true. Also, play double the, play the football crater with um Pretty with good. snappy for sure. The football crater is awesome. But it means you probably aren't getting off playing mythic. <laughs> Snapbacks and the mythos of interesting. Aww. Oh yes, that's what you want to be doing: countering spells and flying I mean, shard. Even if he doesn't go in this commander deck, <laughs> he definitely yeah. goes in the other one. Voracious shark, do 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 do. Voracious shark, do 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 do. Now your spells. This chair do, is do, unstable. Do, do, do. No, it's fine. It just feels unstable. Uh, Stitch, Stitch is requesting a dab, but you, the camera's in the wrong way, you gotta- Camera's in the wrong day, so, sorry. Like... In the, <laughs> camera's in the wrong day. What, yeah, wrong what day. is the feather? Cool token? Uh, it's the, right. dra the phoenix. Yeah, it's the- The phoenix that becomes a- Mutated phoenix. Oh! Yeah. Uh, Falada. Oh, Vigilance Tribal. Yeah. I mean, that's Wacky. the way to go. Banked one dab. <laughs> the next yeah, time. Power fact is a is a solid solid remove as well. I even forgot that dab was in there because we haven't done any like front facing camera work in a while. 
<clears throat> that was mostly there for the pre-release events and stuff. Hashtag sponsored by Wizards. Ooh, I see my one of my favorites, Ooh. Yorion. The bird serpent. I love the art for it's this. A it's gorgeous art. Oh, me too. I just love the card. It's a bird. It does flickery stuff, but gets a bad name for being just on the uh, the wrong end of a control deck in standard, I guess. And remember, like, bit. those hot two weeks, whatever it was, companion was just, like, stone broken. And, uh, <laughs> and then they were like, like, yeah, we're going to change, we're going to change You'd companion. You'd be a full not run your own in every deck. Wizards have made some questionable choice in oh, the last yeah. couple of times. that's so not it's... broken. It's fine. <laughs> Think they're just so much more comfortable to push things crazy now. It's like, oh, worst case scenario, hey, just hey, expand on a boy. All right. All right, I might as well go, just go? rip it up, right? Um, absolutely banned. <laughs> well, that's okay, unfair. Okay. No, it's I'm literally banned in Commando. I know. So I know. it's absolutely banned. Um, oh, speaking yeah. of cool yeah, mutate I, I creatures, though. Ooh, Leviathan. That is so That's cool. That's the tap of Leviathan at that. So good. I just love the art on these. I love it. It's fantastic. Probably won't play it. You thought I was an island? <laughs> I am no island. What did you knock? Yeah, half your deck. Oh, I, I half my deck. Not that deck, the other one. What the, other deck? The green one. So I, I, um, I put the otter in, um, in my commander cube. But I'll say this, I haven't played my commander cube since, of course, thanks to the pandemic this year. Um, but... I was going to have the idea, you just don't run companions. It's just fine as a card. Ooh, okay, there's a companion you can run. Um, yeah, you Cap should maybe run. Maybe Oh, no, not if you do, like, snap tax or something. Depending on what your three-color commander is, if you go for that kind of thing. Yeah, but I could always but work that, towards my cat deck. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And it's like, the, I think the bar on this one is really low. Like, to, to go cat, like, all your creatures are that type, aren't is not too hard to get an extra card. Yeah, poor Otter. I don't know. <laughs> that He's so cute, though. Rules. Exactly. I'd be so sad if he also... wasn't so broke. Ah! Ooh, okay. That's good. That's hey, good. boys. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's yep. the one on the top of your library. Yeah. Oh, yep. ooh, okay. <laughs> that's, that's a score. That's a good time. That's a good time. So this card here, by the way, this card here, I, everyone's forgotten about. So Gabe in chat, I need to shout him out for a hot second. He made a historic deck, I think, where you do some like so, uh, seismic swans type stuff with that creature, the bird goat. <laughs> so you do some mass, uh, yeah, exactly. You do some mass damage spells and he even had people trying to ping it and it's like, no, no, it just gets stronger. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, please ping it. <laughs> exactly. It's, oh, it it's literally a... the goat, not le not like Lebroni. Yep, it's, yeah, exactly. It's it's like the people that Basketball wrote in the Wizards and said... Um, when three fairy was hanging around, uh, <laughs> oh, it's a it's they issued bug um, bug kind of uh, what do you call it requests or whatever. Uh, they said no, there's a bug. I'm I can't cast an instant while two fairies on the field. Only when he's on the field. It's like yeah, yeah. Hey, oh, an ultimatum. We need that Nithroi. This is like now. I want to play Abzan. Yeah, I think Nithroi would stitch a lot of things together right now. Actually. Mm -hmm. Very, very well. Ooh, I love the sprite dragon. Uh, that yeah. one. Oh, that's good, P Frizz. Yeah, run and fire song and sun speaker. <laughs> I love that kind of deck, like just mass damage. It's great. Yeah, I was always like I was always a massive fan of that modern deck, the um the one with uh seismic spawns and stuff like that. Get some Boris Reckner action. Song of Creation. Ooh, Good combo piece. It's a wacky card. Mm -hmm. I've had fun killing people with Song of Creation stupidness. Yep. Like, how yeah, many like cards, are, cards, how many cards are you going to draw for free? Well, you see, Song of Creation plus mill equals bye bye. <laughs> Deletion. Alright, it's a... Oh, that's not bad. Cyclone. That's a fun cycling card. We're pivoting to cycling. <laughs> yeah, you have to go all in on cycling for that one, kind of. Uh, Necropanth's cool. Oh, Xenoflare. <laughs> Alright, pack one, pick one. Speaking <laughs> of cycling. 
just conditioned to like your eyes go Woo, okay okay <laughs> dropping <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Another one. Ooh, that one again. I might uh, get all of one. them. I've only got one more to go. <laughs> yeah, I think mm -hmm. so. Oh, is that a liger? Parcel it beast. is a liger. Actually, a liger. Yeah. Known for its skill and magic, like a lion and tiger mix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they actually exist, right? That's great. Mm -hmm. Um, so quick shout out to Josh and Pat MTG Bazaar. Guff.com.au and PureMTGO.com for sponsoring this content. <laughs> I'm just losing at P-Frizz's comment. Best trick I've gotten Ooh. is Fire Song. It's I actually got you one of those already. This is my boy. Yeah, now you'll have to give me back my one. No. <laughs> oh, that is great. I love that art. 200 life off a Star of Extinction. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's good. Hello, sir. I have a stuffy doll. Oh, no. Not again. Yeah. I, I, oh, brushy tea. How good's brushy tea? Brushy tea for MVP. <laughs> oh, President. One. Hey. Um, Is that the one oh, I was Soltai. missing? That's the one we were missing, wasn't it? Altai Commandy. Uh, you now have okay. all of them. It's like a mutated one. Um, Die Tactic is cool. Blitz. It's a trap. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good, Steve. Go on, dig for the child of Alara. <laughs> be pretty spicy. Mystery All booster right. time. Exactly. <laughs> well, there you go. Like, that's not a bad idea. Just for... eh. if in doubt. It's Trap a crasher. Yeah. <laughs> I've been I've been hurt before, says Jen. <laughs> it's not good. Uh, that one's pretty cool as a mutate target. Trumpeting no. Also, really, I love this art. I love the cartoon stuff. Also, got a bit of a trumpeting uh, perk on its face. Exactly one complex booster. What is that doing there? Unopened it. <laughs> Not even. I need to fly over to New Zealand right now and get it from you. Well, There's your token. phoenix. Spiky boy. <laughs> it's great. And a pouncing shark. Do, 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 oh, pouncing he, shark. Do, 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 do. He's a totally street shark. Do you remember that show? <laughs> yes. No, that was great. Oh, and Biker Mice from Mars. Yeah, Biker Mice from Mars was an absolute stunner of a show. I think we've talked about this in the podcast, but remember yeah, when they had the cereal? Yes. Oh, Garuga. <laughs> <laughs> I still think, yeah, if you can find your way in a green-blue variant somehow, but three colours, you've got some good fodder. But it may have to be... Who's there? The, the Teemo one or the Saltai one? We'll see. We'll see. Well, I mean, well, you've only had, like, what, two Mythics so far? I haven't been counting. So odds, odds on... Ah, oh, three. Well, odds on you've got at least one more, if not a couple more. Yeah. to go stitch hopefully. stitch i will say that is a good way to keep um that's a great reason to keep your packs and i did i did that a little while ago uh it was like last year and just stocked up on random packs and, and had like a fourth edition and all kinds it's of things and when we again. finally got that Pretty. is nice it's yeah. forks um and when we finally got that chaos draft to fire it was just like the best fun evening of, of just yeah the craziest stuff that's why you need to keep the Conflux booster. <laughs> I thought that the best one was my Christmas uh, Christmas chaos. Oh, exactly. That was the best chaos draft we've done. And it was, yeah. I drafted fire. fire. <laughs> that was oh, fire. You, got, you got mega prowess. Like, <laughs> turbo prowess. Everyone's just like, what, is that mega prowess? Like, yes, yeah. that is mega turbo oh, prowess. Mega prowess. Now oh, the trio. Mm -hmm. It's a mamba. R.P. Kobe. Geosaur. Playing 5th edition. Whoa. Good times. When they're like, you better pay 4 hey. mana to get one life. Ooh, that's a hit. Nice That's one. nice. nice one. Cool. All right. So I'm if you can make salt eye work, that'd be nice. Yeah, this is true. Mm. Oh. 
<laughs> you look like you're having fun, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what Crack and Box is about. And we've got, we've got people to commentate and eh. to share. Oh, eh. that was kind of cool. Five damage. <laughs> it should be five called five. Uninspired <laughs> Ultimatum. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not it my just favorite. Does just no. stuff. It's, yeah. it's yeah, it's fine. It's just fine. I'm inside of the maiden. <laughs> Dismal back one. Ooh, snap decks. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> The universe is calling out. <laughs> Play snap decks. I mean, it's not the worst option. It's pretty good. Isn't it though? <laughs> isn't, it your, isn't it your only three color option at the moment? It so far. is my only three color. I know. The mythics, though, ha however, have been good though, as yes. far as the other ones being the kin and, and the the fiend thing. Oh, and I got um Vivian. Mm, oh yeah, and the Vivian. Oh. Cool. Hey. Oh, Cogler is fantastic. Oh, yeah. Cogler the removal. Still got, some green, got some great green stuff if you want to play it there. And I do. It might actually be you make a Kinnon deck and you make a Snapdax deck and then mm -hmm. see how they both go. That's not a bad idea. Let's see what my box topper is as well. Yes. Maybe it'll be something like real spicy. Yeah, exactly. Whoop. Oh. Ooh, that's a that's a... That's a gorgeous Genesis ultimatum. Well, wasn't expecting a third foil rare. It, yeah, it's my third pack with double rares. Oh, double ultimatum. <laughs> okay, so, mm, all right, um, my dude. <laughs> Can I just make five color ultimatum? Maybe I need to hunt for a five mana. As you said, go digging for uh, Child of Alar, I think. You would, or, I mean, there's, there's a easy ways to get five color in... Um, uh, what else is there? Battle Bond. I think you might go for like War of Spark or something. Or like, or Core 2020 to get the goal off. Goal mm. off, yeah. Definitely. I'd, I'd go, yeah, Niv Mizzy, but then you can't. Uh, yeah, Niv Mizzy doesn't pass Oh, great. You just get goal off. It's great. Goal off for ultimatums? Good Ooh. At Ooh. five colors. Yep, yes. No, not in this format. All right, there's your soul tide land. Oh, so your land land bases are fantastic. And I mean, yeah. not, we're not sifting through commons, but I. Dare say there's there's all sorts of um, uh, evolving wilds and stuff too. Yeah. Yeah, War does have Niv Mizzet, and Niv Mizzet has a place in my heart. He's only there just to allow you to play five colors. <laughs> exactly. Though. Yeah, I think so. Which is like we're he's, he's is the like lazy commander. What's it gonna be? Ugh, the oh, worst card in the set. <laughs> You're not a big beast. Get out of here. Uh, ooh, what's that? Cool. No, the cooler no. No. I kind of want to play mutate because no. I want to play all of these. Mutate is great. Yeah, exactly. And one last right. card. And one last one, which is the topper. Oh yeah, of course. Here we go. Be good. Be good. <laughs> Be good. Be good. Oh. oh my. Oh, it's Yadaru. Interesting. Well, you can play that. It's not. It's not trash, at least for the most yeah, part. It's not these are. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Daryl from The Walking Dead. Mm. <laughs> I mean, Too clearly. Soon? Clearly, yeah, pretty much. They are your choices. Yes, and I think yeah, just being the other splits of the uh, the color pie, you can just go. Whoop! I divide all my cards there. Build the two decks adequately and, and see how yeah. they go. So um yeah. But exactly. I do want to be playing green, I think. Yeah. Mm. Jesus like snap decks. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimatum. Look, Mythos. I just love killing people with the snap decks in, alright? Go hunt the infect sets now. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that could be good. Ooh, what do you got in for be... infect chesh? Uh, uh, hmm. Um Oh, what was the name of the set with the thingy? The is the thing the Phyrexia one? Yeah, For... yes. Yeah. Yeah. Phyrexia seed. Mm Phyrexia. -hmm. Mm. Yeah, that's a good time. I think because... so. Looking at my little eBay store that I was looking at, mm. I've got a couple of things in the cart. And uh, as I said, Gabe got his order today, which was um, 
quite quite hasty on the postage, which is really nice. Uh, so looking at them, Magic Traders Australia is the place. And I will say, he did crack hot fire in the portal pack. So I think it's a trustworthy place. It's got no negative feedback. And yeah, no negative feedback and plenty of one, uh, 1,300 positive. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's safe to say. I don't think they're not repacks or anything like that. They're all safe and they're reasonably priced for what they are and, and how hard some of these packs are to access. So Chesh, get your Urza's Destiny <laughs> for $120. That's fine. Um, no, because what was the Urza's one that I opened at Christmas? Ah, uh, that was uh, Legacy. No, Saga? That's, that's, or so, Legacy. It was Legacy. That's Legacy, yeah, exactly. Eighty-two How, bucks for a pack of Urza's Legacy. That was yeah. From, see, I got mine for Japan to get that twenty dollars from Japan. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, um, Kaiju got it from they yeah, got it from Kaiju. somewhere in Japan. Yeah, no, I was I was uber jealous because oh, I just want to get all the well, all these stories. We got Japan and getting like packs out of vending machines. You're like, oh, yeah. Well, I, that's <laughs> that's why I included in that Christmas Chaos draft because I was like, oh, from memory, like it's it's worth quite a bit of money. <laughs> it's like. Yeah. You know, even even, even if we crack trash, like it's it's something that I know that like I've opened before, but I don't think other people have because I think I have now opened other than Alpha, I've opened one of every booster pack in Magic at least. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, that's a bucket list. That is a bucket. That is that is um, my I'll post personal in bucket list. <laughs> yeah. I'll um I'll post this in the chat actually. Here you go. <laughs> Um, but basically, so what do we got here as well? So the bucket list. Mm. All right, Alliance is fifty six dollars. Mm. Vision's forty four. I think that was the same place we were looking at earlier today. It was. Yep. Yeah. Homelands twelve dollars <laughs> ninety. Could I interest you in a pack of Homelands, Chesh? Do you know Cephalids. what? Do you know what? <laughs> at some stage, I want to open them for it. That's fair. That's fair. Because, like, yeah. my whole thing with this, if I just want to open packs that are crazy and see what I can make. Mm -hmm. and exactly. And that, that's where I'm at with this, that I, I'll get some one-offs and I'll be like, well, what else am I going to do this? And also you get to play the cards. And especially, like Chesh has done with that five mana four four, <laughs> you find good excuses to play them. And you, you, <laughs> you know, like Gabe opened Fallen Empires today and he's going to play those cards and it's going to be hilarious and it's going to be great. And like I say, strap him up with a batter skull or something dumb from Double Masters and have a good time of it because otherwise, who who wants to build the most optimal thing? You want to build the most fun and creative thing. So um, Ooh, that's going to be good. What is, a sample pack? what is a sampler pack? Special offer inside, starter pack. I don't know, $32. Nah, maybe not. Yeah, no, don't Future touch it. Oh, that's a bit expensive. Mm, okay, uh, I saw I saw Stitch. This one had me going. The uh, five packs of fifth edition. That's going back way that's, back to your origin. That was the one I was. Yeah, they look yeah. cool. You get your Shivan dragons. Ooh, <laughs> I don't know. Chronicles. I think it's fun, and I like that. I think that's my wheelhouse. Where it's it's twenty dollars. It's a pack of Chronicles. You might get a Concord Crossroads, maybe not, but you get those. <laughs> there's the three color commanders in there, which I think is like the important part of this this format. Finding get does, your Hoven or something or does like, it have uh, pirate ship? I hope so. I need a pirate ship. <laughs> I've been meaning to put the ship deck together. It's it's the way to go. Just just saying. Just saying. Yeah, just saying. Odyssey <laughs> twenty bucks. Not bad. Not bad. Um I think Gabe wanna do some like even tide and oh, What did Odyssey stuff. have? Odyssey was was it Threshold? I think so? Threshold cycling, I think, maybe. I think so. Oh cycling's always a good time. Plane shift twenty four dollars. Mm, okay. okay. Plane plane shift was cycling, wasn't it? Unhinged. Don't touch unhinged. No. Folks. Just... <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, no unhinged. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Eleven dollars. Dragons of no. Uh, Khans of Tarkir though. That's, mm -hmm. that's yeah. Cool. That's we we're looking I'm at that as well. A couple yeah. of few of those for sure because I Absolutely. think they're just the most sensible for like getting your fixing going as well. Mm. Uh, Going to be good. So yeah, threshold. But Chronicles would be uh, interesting for like just like. Shitty vanilla three color commanders. Exactly, or, that's what I mean. Know, yeah, like even, it's all about sending like, a message and pretty much getting base it. vanilla because the the three color commanders from Chronicles are pretty much mostly just trash. Which yeah. is but I want to lay the you trash. Might get, you might Look. get Boldus reading a book. <laughs> uh, you might get Photograph. Uh, Jack and Blackblade. Wasn't Photograph in? Like it original uh, Vivictus as Marty the the lizard. <laughs> hmm. It's hard when I don't have a list in front of me. I'm like, I'm pretty sure Feldegriff was in 
in there, I mean, and I could be wrong, but I have this 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 feeling that yes, it was. Zero Aaron, the uh, the bug legend. I love that one in Jund. That was oh, really does cool. it does it have? Ah, oh, damn. Draws a card. That's not fully. Oh, Rubinia Solsi. Pardon. Joran. Oh, Johan. Oh, Johan. 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 Yeah, the the Naya commander. <laughs> as long as Johan does not attack. No, does not attack and is untapped. Attacking does not cause creatures you control to tap. Oh, your stuff gets busy. Sick. <laughs> Five, four, six mana. I'm in. <laughs> Johan looks like a badass. I love it. He's just like, he yeah, I'm the, the bouncer. <laughs> totally. So with, without further ado, I'm totally getting a pack of Chronicles. It was great. <laughs> I know. I was looking at the sixth set of Gate Crash. <laughs> yeah, Gate Crash is just not a bad idea. And it's like, yeah. Good, good um, fixing. Oh, exactly, exactly. Ooh, Dissension. They just, I don't know, I'll, I'll do a bit of bit of digging. As I said, so Gabe had a great hit today, so he got the, portals pack, the portal pack. Um, and that's a bit of a gamble, of course, but the portal he got, where was it? He hit the, he hit the max on that one. It was great. Uh, let's find it. He got the, the uncommon tutor, the personal tutor, which is worth 50 bucks. Um, the swamp, which was the white tree, which is one of the best looking land, basic lands I've ever seen. That's worth like 10 bucks. Hey, Jay. And then a, a couple of other bits and pieces. Mm. Jay walking. Hey, yo. Um, yeah, what else? Dark Ascension. What's in that chest? That's only 10 bucks. Uh, I don't remember. Enough, I guess. Yeah. What is going on what? upstairs with that fucking motor? Seriously. I hate the people upstairs. Yeah. I, I don't have no idea. It must be like their bathroom or something. <laughs> I just I don't know. The spa? The spa that's going to fall through the roof at some it's, stage? It's probably. quite possibly a spa. Mm, that's not but like this, this time of night, like, what are you doing? <laughs> Entirely in this complex. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I could keep browsing eBay for hours, but uh, I've got to pull the pin on a couple of things. Ooh, three Odyssey, 55 bucks. All right, it's got Abishan on the front. Maybe I'll do it. Mm -hmm. Play some Marari. So mm. anyway. Well, we're going to go exactly. uh, and build our decks. Yeah. Go build your decks. <laughs> we'll get together for Tuesdays, I guess, like you said. Yep, Tuesdays, 8 um, p.m. AEST. Uh, so that's 10 p.m. New Zealand time. And that's whatever true. it is in your local time, that's up to you to convert because I'm not, I'm not your dad. Yeah, yeah. Go to the it's like my time buddy or whatever it is the the, the site that converts all the time zones. So I've been having to do it a lot lately, hanging out with people in the states. <laughs> um, yeah, we live on the other side of the world. It's your own fault. Uh, so cool. what's going to happen on Tuesday? We're not going to have added any packs. What do you reckon? Or well, we still. Do you think Given I've postage added... times, we probably won't have added any packs, no. That's true. And we have um, to play these ones. Yeah. We really have to yeah. just, like, try that's out the base deck first to know where we really want to go with them, I think. That's a good point. That's mm. a good point. Um, I was just going to say, what do I do? Because I've already added my bad rock and that kind of changes. <sighs> Disqualification. Or do I just, I just backpedal? <laughs> and run just like just backpedal it. Then. You'll be fine. Yeah. That's fine. I'll run Slimefoot. I'd run exactly. slime foot. I would <laughs> be making a slime I, foot. I can deck run post slime haste. foot. I won't, but I could. It's a bad idea, but I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've done worse. Exactly. Yeah. Um, cool. Johan or whatever his name is. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, mm. thanks everyone for hanging out. Uh, from myself, Chesh, uh, Hayden, Toodaloo, and of course, Sammy Lemma Jing Jong. Ciao, ciao. See you guys. And uh, we'll uh, we'll catch you. Well, I guess I'll catch everyone tomorrow night on Chesh Breaks uh, at six thirty PM, where myself and Blake from Cherry are going to be opening a Pokemon Elite Trainer Box for Champions Path. Hashtag yep. sponsored by Guff. Nice. Um, and no then more Wednesdays. Exactly. And then Sam and myself will see you for Mail Time Monday on Monday on Chesh Breaks. That's right. And then uh, obviously oh, wow. Tuesday night we will uh, stream Commander, and then next Wednesday night I have no idea what's going on. We'll figure you it out. You might even catch 
for a uh, we'll we'll be back for an episode of uh, Commander Crunch the podcast uh, on the weekend. Um, I think I know who we've got on, but um, we've got a few people lining up at the door, basically different people. So we'll, we'll figure something out. We'll have some cool guests, and uh, there'll be an episode next week. But yes. Oh, and I think there's Commander the Distancing on Sunday, and I need to check that. Sorry. When's your stream? I don't know. Uh, but no, no. you mean the Saturday night one that I was talking about before? Yeah, there's that one, and then ah, uh, yes, of course. I was gonna say, doesn't that? Yeah, never mind. <laughs> no, it's fine. I just want to. I just want to bring it up again, just so you can plug it again. Oh, oh, I see how it goes. Yeah, sure. So, um, it'll be on Twitch.tv forward slash uh, Riley Tower. It'll be myself, Riley Knight, uh, Jordan from Orcs Head Magic, and Tom from The Wandering Bard. Uh, Tom, you'll know from Card Kingdom. Uh, who does freelancey work over there? Hashtag sponsored by Wizards. So if you tune into the Wizards Twitch, you'll probably see it there because I believe that they're going to be hosting it um, as well. And we'll be playing with the uh, Zendikar decks versus the Ikoria decks in a four way free for all. I'm playing Rogue Mill, so. We'll it's see a that commander goes. showdown of Australian legends. Yes. Oh, yeah, you're going to have a good time. Best Australian content creators in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so they say. So they say. So they say. <laughs> Self claimed. Exactly. Oh, Twitch auto modded it? Oh, boo earns. Sorry. Yeah, it'll auto mod it. Sorry. Fine. I need to make you an know. actual mod of the channel to like post a oh, link. Oh, so, okay. too bad. My OnlyFans kind of thing or anything. No. Correct. All right, everyone. All we'll right. catch you later. <laughs> Bye. Take care. Bye.